which is the same thing that we do with the horses, except the bike stays basically stationary and if you're on the flat. Well, a horse doesn't, they move. And so, we have to have the leg in position so the upper body can be in position, and that is giving us balance. You, if you put your leg out in front of you, it will extend you backwards. If your leg gets too far forward, it sends you forward. Which is why we want to line things up so you're like this. But if you get your upper body too far forward, you're out of balance. And that basically comes from the leg to begin with. Except some people who are very weak in the upper body. So, so then we have things in place. Then you have to kn know how much pressure has to be put on. And I think of it on a scale of one to five. One, we're just there, we squeeze them a little bit to have them walk forward. That's a one. You're going at a apartment building, condo to jump, you got a five on them. But if you have too much, you create speed. You create speed. The horse thinks you want speed. You don't want speed. So what do you start doing? You start grabbing with the hands. Now we have conflicting aids. And the horse has no idea what you want. Am I right? Well, that's a joke. We're laughing here because mm -hmm. That's been the journey for the last five See, years. And I, and I told Brooke the last time I, she was here, you've got too much leg on. Why, why do you think the horse is running away from the jump? Because you're telling them to. Now, why would she be gripping on the back side of the jump? Lack of balance. The lack of balance. And so the leg is gripped to try and stay on. Where in actual fact, we stay on to a balanced position. And the upper body has to be strong. Most of the time, in everything you do, your skeleton is actually holding you up. But when we're riding or we're jumping, we're actually being folded and we need a strong core. So if people don't have a strong core, grip too much. People who, if they don't understand the amount of leg, and what I did with her, after I said, may I touch you, <laughs> I've taken the course. <laughs> <laughs> I actually put my hand on the inside here and said, well, show me how much leg you had. And she squeezed and I said, oh, that's probably about a four. And then I backed her up. Remember it? Yeah. And said, okay, this is a one, this is a two, this is a three. And it's learning. You want to do as little as possible, but as much as necessary. And if you do too much leg, you end up using too much hand. It's a balance of it all the time. Does that answer it? Is that? <laughs>